In today's video, we're going to be teaching our dogs the flip finish and the bye finish. When we do competitive obedience, there's a position called the sit front. This is when our dog is sitting directly in front of us, as straight as possible, looking up at us. And what we have to do is we need to take our dog from that sit front position and get them into the heel position. Heel position, it could be a little different depending on which sport you're doing, but basically it's in the position directly to our left side and their paws aligned with the balls of our feet. This comes from hunting dogs because the hunter would have the dog on the left and their rifle or their weapon on the right. So that's why heel position is on the left side. The flip finish is where our dog goes from directly in front of us and flips into that heel position. And then the by finish is where our dog goes from the sit front and they go around us into heel position. We're gonna use luring to teach this behavior. It's quite simple to do. You wanna make sure you go through the power steering video, really understand how to get your dog to follow the food in the hand where you can manipulate their position, as well as the place command. Those are gonna be initial steps to teaching this behavior. Again, very simple exercise. You just need to do a lot of them to really get the dog to understand it. You need to be patient. Remember, this is dog training. It should be fun. Okay, teaching the flip finish and the buy finish. What we want to do is we want to guide our dog into that sit front position. When we first teach it, we're going to step back with our left leg, guiding our dog around back into heel position and doing what we can to get our dog in as perfect of a heel position as possible. And then it's good to guide the dog back to a sit front, stepping forward with our left leg, guiding our dog around the leg back into that sit front position, just like this. Okay, so one more time, left leg goes back, we guide the dog around, and if our dog's not in the heel position that we like, all we have to do is readjust to make sure they are in that perfect position, or as close to perfect as possible. Stepping forward with that left leg, guiding our dog back into the sit front position. Yes, reward. And here we go, one last time. I know I said one time already, but we're gonna do one more. Stepping back with the left leg, guiding our dog around into that heel position. So she's a little forging, but that's okay, it happens. Again, stepping forward with the left leg, back around into that sit front position. So now the by finish, when I first do it, I step back with my right leg, I have food in both hands, I guide the dog to my other hand, and then I reward them when they are in the heel position, trying not to drop food like I did right there. So again, we have food in both hands. I'm not giving her any of the food that's in my right hand. I'm giving her the food that's in my left hand. So as I step back, she's not getting any of that food. But when she comes to my left hand, that's when I'm rewarding her. And that's when she's getting the food. Here we go, one more time, stepping back with the right leg, guiding my dog around into perfect heel position, okay? So once we have our dog doing that, we can start naming each one of the commands. Come means the sit front position, or here, or front, whatever you wanna call it. And then again, heel for the other commands. So to demonstrate naming the commands, I'm gonna use colors. So we're gonna call it red, blue, green. Keep it very simple, because if I say heel, she's gonna flip into position before I start to do the physical cue. So I want you guys to see what it looks like when we're first naming the command. Red, then the cue. Yes, reward. Blue, then the cue. Yes, reward. Green, then the cue. Yes, reward. Blue, then the cue. Yes, reward. And then as they get better at it, when they're going around my back for the buy finish, I start to do it where I don't even step my leg back. So I'll say green, and then just guide them around just like that. Free, let her jump up for the reward. Bring her back to the sit front, we'll do it again. Green, guide her around. Yes, reward. Blue, guide her to the front. Yes, reward. A little crooked there, I'll adjust. Normally, we want the dog to adjust to us, not us adjust to the dog. Red, 
than the cute. And as you can see, she's already starting to get it, even though I just started naming it these different colors. Blue. Yes. Red. And there we go. Now she knows the flip finish break off of the word red. But that's the process you have to use. Say the word, show them the cue. All right? Remember, stepping back with that left leg, guiding our dog into heel position. If they're not in perfect heel position, readjust tight around the body to get them to the sit front and tight around the body to get them back into the heel position. Do this correctly and you're gonna have a really nice flip finish and a bye finish. Make it fun and do tons of repetitions. Yes. 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 Go ahead and name it. Come. Yes. Bye. Yes. Come. Yes. Heel. Yes. Come. Yes. Bye. Yes. Come. Yes. Heel. Yes. Come. Yes. Heel. All right, so I messed up there. Help him out again. Heel. Free. And you might get a little bit of that if you've been doing our proactive style training where you're doing the free shaping during the day. You're rewarding your dog for offering up behaviors. Often, if you do that quite a bit, your dog will do a little bit what Charlie did right there. He said, I'm not quite sure what that word is, but maybe if I try this, you'll give me a reward. And I like when a dog does that because it shows me they're putting in an active effort to do what it is that I'm asking for. I'm not going to reward him because he made a mistake, but I'm also not going to correct it. I want to just show him what it is that I want him to do and go through more repetition so he understands that command and what it is I'm trying to get him to perform. Mm -hmm.